What's up my friends? Welcome to New View Tech Review. My name is David Gelly and today we are unboxing the Withings Steel HR Sport. So let's get to it. All right, ladies and gentlemen, so here we are with the Withings Steel HR Sport. Just to be clear right off the bat, this is an unboxing video, not a review. I've had several people comment in the past on my unboxing videos saying, wow, what a crappy short review. This is not a review. This is simply an unboxing to show you what's inside of the box and maybe give you a little glimpse of what is to come in my future review of the device. So with that being said, let's get right to it get the trusty old pocket knife cut these pieces of tape real quick try not to rip it up well oh, there we go there there's the first rip All right, so that took a little bit of time to just get the top open, but um, it's packaged well, I guess. So right off the bat, that's some nice packaging uh, with the withings right on the front. Let's open this up. And it looks like we got some pamphlets right here. Quick installation guide with some box contents on there. Looks like it's gonna be one of those hockey puck chargers. Uh, it looks like this is it right here. Looks like we have to undo the back here to get it out. All right, so here it is, the Withings Steel HR Sport. It seems pretty small right off the bat. This is the 40 millimeter in diameter, and yeah, it seems a little bit small, so I'm interested in seeing how it looks on the wrist. Definitely very round on the back, on the bottom, I mean. So I wonder how that'll feel on the wrist, but there's the heart rate sensor, power button it looks like, or notifications button, something like that. And looks like a little display on the top there. It definitely looks really nice. The strap feels pretty good. Feels like it will be comfortable to wear. Very thin rubber. Oh, and let's see what we got in the back here. Looks like it's the charger, just as expected. Uh, just like the, I think it was the Garmin Vivo Move HR. There's no power brick in it. So yeah, they make you take care of that yourself. Probably has a magnetic attachment for the back is my guess. Yep, very weak magnet on there. So here's a quick overview of everything we got in the box. Obviously the box, the charger with no brick, the watch itself, and some reading materials. Uh, that's about it. So let's get this thing turned on and get a quick first impressions of what it looks like with the little display on it. So let's get into the app right here and get things set up. And it looks like it detected the watch right away, so that's nice. So let's hit install, install again, and pair three, eight, nine. 693 here. Wow. Pairing the watch was uh, incredibly easy. That's awesome. Usually it's kind of a pain to pair some of these watches, but that was extremely simple. So let me get the rest of this set up real quick. Okay, so the updating is over. The first impressions leading up to the update were pretty good. Then the update started and that took a while. Wow. Now it looks like it's having me calibrate the watch hand, which is pretty cool. So it's having me align it to zero, which I think they mean 12 o'clock. So we'll do that. Align the hour hand to 12. All right, 
finally done with the setup process. It was pretty easy and straightforward, but it took a while. I mean, that was probably the most frustrating part about this, but uh, like I said, easy setup. So let's, um, let's browse through what we got here. It looks like there's a timeline, so probably the history of everything that you've been doing for the week. Dashboard, steps, sleep, weight, average heart rate, stuff like that. Uh, programs, I'm not exactly sure what that is. Your devices and your profile. So let's get this watch on and see what it looks like really quick. All right, so here it is on my wrist. It does feel kind of small. It is definitely light, which is nice, but it definitely feels small and the, and the strap feels pretty long actually. It's kind of hanging out right here. Yeah, and the screen is super dim. I can barely see anything. So I wonder if you can turn that up or not. I guess we'll find out as I review this device. Anyway, so that's a quick unboxing of the Withings Steel HR Sport. You can expect a review in the upcoming weeks. I'll get it out as soon as I can. That's all I have for you guys for right now. That's all I had for you today, my friends. I hope you enjoyed this quick unboxing and first impressions of the Withings Steel HR Sport. Please like, comment, and subscribe for more content. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.